The cutting blade on the tennis ball cutter is very sharp. Even well-used blades can cut skin easily. Be mindful of this, please. Place the tennis ball cutter on a table. Remove the blade changing tool from the top of the handheld. Rotate the handle until it is vertical, pointing up. Install the slide lock with the handle facing downward to hold the slide in this position. When the handle is released, the slide will be held with the blade ready to change. Find the most comfortable position for you to hold the blade changing tool. Some like the right hand, others the left hand. Turn the tennis ball cutter upside down. Slide the blade changing tool onto the cutting blade. You may have to wiggle or jiggle the blade changing tool to get it to seat on the blade properly. Now, using only your fingers, unscrew the blade. It is a bit awkward at first, but you can do it. It was only put on finger tight. You can do it. Once loose, just spin it off. When completely loosened, tip the tennis ball cutter right side up and remove the blade with the changing blade tool. Take the old blade out of the blade changing tool very carefully and replace it with a new blade. Be sure to take care when disposing of the old blade. It is still very sharp. Turn the tennis ball cutter upside down again. When installing the new blade, turn it as if you were unscrewing it a couple of turns. This will center the screw end in the screw base. Now screw the new cutting blade in. Tighten only finger tight. Put the tennis ball cutter back on the table right side up. Put the blade changing tool back in its socket in the hand hold. Press down on the slide or rotate the handle to relieve pressure from the slide lock and remove the slide lock. Return the slide lock to its holder on the back of the tennis ball cutter. You are once again ready to easily cut thousands of tennis balls.